Well, greetings everyone. Microbrew Gamer is here with with Proxy Fox of Yeah Dude Gamers. Uh, so we've got this massive collection of pretty much everything Nintendo that just happened today. There's been a lot of people that have been playing it, but we got some cool stuff to open, so we're gonna do that. So where do you want to start? I think we should probably start at the source. Let's let's start off with the Switch. I'll put these up in all over the place. Let's start off with the Switch. Move my beer. Just can't play games without a beer. Oh my god. It's beautiful. I'm a little special, so ooh. It's yeah. hand for scale, like it's it's so tiny. Well, I got big palms and short fingers. I'm Cro Magnum. There you go, better <laughs> Yeah. It's about the size of my hand. Yeah. The cute. It is. It's and the tiniest little joy joy cons. Ooh, little joy cons. Hopefully it'll be as joyous as it sounds. They've actually got a decent weight to them for the size. Yeah. Actually this, believe it or not, this actually has a decent weight to this. This feels like it's solid. So I have I'm gonna compare this with my uh this is the the switch. And this is my phone. I can there, we'll tuck that in the little corner there. So the switch is a little bit bigger than the Note 5. And I mean it's a massive phone. Like don't don't be don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by my phone nuller device. Oh, man. I'll, yep, I'll... We've got a uh, screen protector for that, which we'll put on before we get into the uh, Twitch session, the gameplay session. This is the dock, so let's take a look at what this looks like. Now, I've seen some stuff on the dock, and from my understanding, this back plate comes off, so all of your HDMI out and your adapters all run through here nice and neat and all run out one side. And there's, US, there's a USB 3.0, it looks like, right here. Yep. So you can tell from the blue. Another couple of USBs on the side. And I course, really like that your plugs no longer have to be like just coming out the back of the console yeah. and all over the place. It's redirected off this little spot here. This is actually pretty good. Pretty good engineering. A little lighter than I thought a base would be, but you know, it's just a little bit lighter than I thought it would be, but a little bit. I'm sure with that. Looks like it's got uh, standing straight up and down. I'm sure the weight of the that's got more of like a magnetic connection going on in there rather than uh, like an actual plug. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm liking because I was concerned that it was going to have something in it where you, you set the system into it. And if you don't do it just right, you'll break something. You know, who knows? You could be out buying like another 15 docks. Oh, here's the uh, the controller, the little thing for the Joy-Con. Now, I'm interested to see when the Joy-Con are actually in this, how comfortable it is to actually use. Yeah, your hands are a bit bigger than mine, so it may be, be a lot more comfortable for me. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> So oh, I also set that here. also got a second second set. set. Yep. I was supposed to get the Pro, but the uh, when I reserved it, they kind of goofed up and got a uh, a second Joy-Con, the blue one. I thought there was getting the Pro, which would have been comfortable for your hands, but uh, now is the Pro a little bit bigger? Or? Yeah, it's it's a little bit more like this size. It's a little bit bigger, but I didn't actually get to hold it for comparison because <laughs> <laughs> there were none. <laughs> so so the box came with that. Of course, it came with a little. Uh, Little lanyard thing to attach to it. Ooh, is that just one or one per Joy-Con? Well, this is not the Joy-Con. This is for the actual tablet. Oh, for the. Oh, all right. It's pretty. Oh, looks like it goes right on the top. It's got the two buttons for it. Hmm. This goes right. This attaches right to the. Uh... No, I think that is the Joy-Con. Hmm. Looks like it. Yeah, like it just slide right in. Oh, it's so I don't throw the Joy-Con like across the room like an idiot. Oh. Don't break your TV. Now, granted, these are significantly lighter than a Wiimote. Yeah. I'm still not going to risk throwing it at the television, though. I still don't think it'd be <laughs> I tend to not anything. throw things at my television. So it came with an HDMI cable, which is a nice touch. Usually with systems, you got to buy your own HDMI cable, so that's a nice touch. Yeah, unless you and get like, course, a Pro version or something. And, of course, power, which is which is necessary. And I see they're still using the block. The, but, the typical yeah. Nintendo console block. But... The block is better than, you know, nice... Yeah, I can't nice, shake it. <laughs> ni nice, sexy little thing, but at least this will power it up. And now you got another cable sitting right up here. What's that? Or is that? Oh, oh it's oh, for the other Joy-Con. That's the other one. It's, it's the special wrist strap so you don't screw up your TV like an idiot. <laughs> Look what I did, Nintendo. Pay me. <laughs> yeah, they're done paying for televisions, I think. They're like, you know what? No. No excuses, people. Stop wrecking the TVs. All right, All right, and we'll so be getting into playing this in a little while. Yep, we're actually going to be doing some li uh, some live Twitch 
video game footage. So, I'm actually gonna clear this out of the way here so I can. Yeah, let me get my make some table space. Mm. I'm a lush. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Of course, I got the little. Uh, let's slide this on out. Got the uh, little case. It's okay. I, I got bear claws. Gotcha. Maybe short, but they're pretty pretty strong. For stuff like video game package opening. Yeah. I'm, I'm adapted specially for that. <laughs> Evolution and all. We have evolved to a point where we we need to open packages in a hurry. All right. So this is a. Uh, that, yeah, that's like a hard shell to it, too. It's hard shell. It's got the Zelda Breath of the Wild imprint. I mean, probably can't see it, but we'll have to do some close-up shots on a few of all of our goodies. Oh, yeah. But let's... That is totally zip-tied. <sighs> do you so... have a tool? Because I do not have something for zip-tied. I, I was have? not... I was... I'll let you, because I'm uncoordinated. I was not all prepared right. for zip-ties. There you go. And if you hurt yourself, don't worry. My wife's a nurse. Oh, sweet. So we have a nurse on staff, just in case. Well, me, you gotta. Well, let's keep form. Of course, it's filled with this little... I like this, that they're not using real... It's almost like a plastic rather than styrofoam. I kind of like that. Yeah. I hate the feel of styrofoam. It me bonkers. And the little things that get everywhere. Can you do me a favor and just roll that light up? I think it's up to dim it. Oh, well, this is a nice touch. Thanks. They got space for, like, one of the, the Joy-Con controller little little nook they've got this this is padded this is for the is uh for the games or for the controllers this well right here this feels like this is actually for, for okay no i think this goes on this side but this is actually this is padded so nothing gets busted or broken this is actually padded and the nice touch is right here for the games for the on-the-go games they actually give you Oh, and it comes with a little slot for Zelda specifically. It actually has a name of Zelda. Oh, look, its own little... That's adorable. It's own little Zelda thing. It's its It's got a little case for four games. There's two of them, so that was a nice touch. That was a nice touch. So you touch. can bring eight games with you to a buddy's house. And it looks Just like... Just by getting this little package. They've got this little, like, nook cut out here. And I'm assuming that's for your Joy-Cons for the trigger. It's recessed in. So yep. you can have that right there. Two of now, them, I'm man. assuming if you're going to transport this, you probably have the whole system assembled and just set the whole thing in here. I don't know if it's set for that uh, particular setup, but that would be it my guess. Be. And then you just and then this, this is over? just super padded so that nothing damages your screen. Yeah, that's that's, that's pretty hefty. That's fantastic. And then just little Velcro in, and that's they and actually did a good move. job. They did a good job with that. That's fantastic. Systems haven't been this portable since the GameCube. Like, I mean, you got your DS, but, like, typical console systems haven't been this portable since the GameCube. Well, I, I gotta give kudos for the GameCube. It's done what no other system has done. It doubles both as a weapon of self-defense and a game system. You cannot break that thing. You can literally knock somebody out in a bar fight and then play your game. You know, just, yeah. Just, just, you know, take a little cloth and wipe some of the blood off and you're great. Go or on. leave the blood there and just say, you know, I'm a hardcore player. Or just tell everybody it's a Resident Evil version. You could do that. <laughs> People fall for things like that. Um, let's see. Before we crack into the Zelda, I'll share with my good friend. Uh, pick what? I'll let you open up some of the uh, one of the amiibos. Oh my God! You're taking them out of the package. I'm gonna take these. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll find them again to get them in the package. But yep. I really want to get the full effect of playing this. Oh yes. I, I want to add the extra stuff. So. So I'm all about this uh, this Link Archer going on over here. So I'm gonna dig into this one. And um. I can let your girlfriend, if she wants to open one, too. She can come here and open one would, if she wants to. Would you like to open one? You can open it off camera. It's fine. Open whichever one you want. Pick one. I am just fine with opening up the remainder. I've got, of course, the Boko Goblin. Can you see the resemblance? I can. <laughs> uh, I funny didn't thing know they is, made you in amiibo form. And funny thing is, 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 is anybody that plays Magic the Gathering, my friends describe me as the Goblin Tinkerer. So <laughs> this is kind of... Apropos. So that's why you got it. <laughs> All right. I almost feel bad at sacrilegious opening now, it, but. Right. Now beware of zip ties. I don't know if you guys have that, but. My guy's too short for a zip tie. <laughs> Link with his bow and arrow here is zip tied in, and I don't want to. I don't want to get overexcited and end up having him lose an arrowhead. It'd be a bad time trying to hunt in the breath of the wild. <laughs> Beautiful. Actually, this is pretty detailed. This one's actually not bad. That's just an enemy one. That's pretty, uh... 
Wow. That's actually pretty detailed. Now, do you know, are these going to have any use in any of the games that are Amiibo compatible aside from Breath of the Wild? I don't. I, I uh, don't even know if Nintendo oh, knows yet. Oh, oh that's, that's wonderful. Oh, uh, let me take a look at you, this. You've got to see this guy. Oh, oh, this is actually really detailed. I'll have to get some closer to this. And the bow is really neat. I'm going to pass this on. I'm going to take a look at the uh, Link on horseback with the hood. He looks like he's... Uh, pass the goblin your way. Looks like he's up to no good. Well, actually, look at him. Even the cloak, the high... They high really him, cloak. They call him Strider. <laughs> he does look like he's up to no good. Just as long as they don't call him Streaker. <laughs> I do like how they have the arrows here where they believe that they actually help them instead of... Yeah, where you could reach him. Yeah, where yeah. you could reach him because this is a lot harder than... So they actually did a lot of detail. These are very detailed. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. They, they took I'm some really impressed with a lot of the Amiibos they've done. I mean, when they first came out, they were not that detailed. But, I mean, yeah, they're pretty, uh, I don't know if you have the... I've, I've got a Shulk right there. Um, and then, like, you know, Mario, which came out first. So the Shulk is the, uh, there's the Mario. Uh, Shulk is the one that's the red guy in the black. Yeah, yeah he's from the, the Xenoblade. Xenoblade. Yeah. I just picked up Xenoblade Chronicles X. Started playing it. I haven't played the first one though. I feel uh, I feel dirty not playing the first yeah. one, but yeah, Xenogears was a great game. Of course, we got the uh, leave this in the in the packaging for now. This is the hardcover guide. I, I actually just the guide for Breath of the Wild. Yeah, just the guide oh, for Breath of the Wild. And honestly, I love that hardcover. cover art is beautiful. Hardcover is fantastic. It, it is. I, I don't know if we can get something non shiny off of it. I mean, it's pretty oh, glossy we'll with the. We'll have, we'll have to show that, do a close-up of that without the light reflecting off it. It's it's really nice cover art. <clears throat> lettering's all in gold across the binding. Oh, my God. Is it, like, is it raised lettering, too, or is it just... No, it's, 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 in, it's, in, it's indented. Not raised so much that I can tell. Yeah, it's, I think it's, like, pressed in. Yeah. Well, I don't know. My, my nerves aren't the greatest. <laughs> so. All right, now, what on earth is this? This is actually, this is a cool, cool thing that happened today. I actually was like, ah, I shouldn't spend too much money, so I, I, I uh, reserved the special edition of, of Breath of the Wild. Uh, when I did it, I was so like, usually uh, what I think when I think I shouldn't spend too much money. Yeah, I was like, I, I should get the special edition. Edition. <laughs> Well, I got the $99 version. So I was like, you know what? The extra statue, I mean, I don't want to go overboard. So I reserved that. So I go to GameStop, and I pick it up, and the guy's like, well, I see you've got the $99 version. Just, just ask him, but... They made a mistake and they sent us an extra. We literally just reached this in and unpackaged it five minutes ago. Do you want to upgrade? You got 30, 40 bucks extra. And I'm like, oh, man. with the statue. So I'm like, okay, twist, twist my arm. Okay, yes. So, <laughs> you know, I, you know I, as you can say, I, I've got a lot of willpower, just no won't power. That's the problem. <laughs> That's fair enough. So uh, I got the full blown special edition. So let's, uh, I'll put the pieces except for the game back in because we're going to be playing that. But uh, we'll uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I've got okay, a comb. I, don't, I, don't I was reaching it. for a knife and all I got is a comb. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you know the switchblade comb? It opens packages. Oh. Yeah. Swiss Army comb. Alright, so oh, I'm going to gently open this because I'm going to put everything back in except for the game that I'm going to play. So it's packaged. Nice and pretty. I'm, I'm really digging the... Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, like so even the cardboard is that blue. Even the cardboard has, is, is impression. It has the detailing. It's got the coin, it's got the game, the music soundtrack, a map. Okay, I'm gonna put the game aside because that's what we're actually gonna be playing with. You yeah, know, we're gonna be handling that. I'm gonna put this over here with the case. Oh, set the whole sound collection too. Oh man. Okay. If we've so. got the time to rip that later. Yes. Oh, it actually came with an additional case that I'm not going to open. Oh, my God. I mean, this is like is... full on, like almost like a carving. It's imprinted, the plastic on this. It's like, I mean, it's like raised. This is like high quality right here. That, that is good. I'm going to gently stick that back in. And, of course, we got to at least take a peek. Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, oh let me, even, let me even clear you some table space here. Master Sword Resurrect. Oh, it's, even the box is nice. So let's do uh, just oh, gently with, nice. you've got a little piece of tape. Yep. Use our surgical tools here. Yeah, to... yeah. I'm like off camera part of the time just because I'm too there excited, too excited about Zelda. And I give some idea of like you know my age line. I was playing the original on the NES back in the day. 
started yeah, off started off at Atari, so when the NES came out, it was great. I didn't start getting into Legend of Zelda until like N sixty four Ocarina of Time days. Whereas like my cousin, who was actually a year younger than me, started getting into it with the Game Boy games, uh, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Okay. Want well, yeah, yeah, I'll let you do that. <laughs> I'm about as uncoordinated as you can get lately. You just flop it open. Yeah, go for it. Maybe, possibly. I think I started mostly with the uh, There we go. Let's see the view. Oh, wow. Take this up. And I will show in the pet. Ah, maybe I should just. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so delicately. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. This is. This is. Uh, I'm trying to show without we'll kind of. We'll get some close ups for that. Yeah. I really don't want to mess with it too much. It's, it looks delicate. Let's get it back in the box. Yeah. Put it, put it back. Back from whence it came. This is this is actually very nice. Okay, so far, you know, I mean, the game has gotten excellent reviews online. Uh, so far, I mean, without, of course, testing out the hardware yet. So far, I'm impressed. We kind of felt a little let down about by Nintendo in the past with some of its recent business practices, but this is so far going well. I got some high hopes for the system. Collector's edition is just going to go so well in here. And I love how they did the packaging with that. Like, even the stuff you're going to potentially you'd be throwing away. They took a lot they of care. They took a lot of time to they make took, it look. They took a lot of care with this. They've actually did a very, very, even, even the hole in the cardboard to pull it out <laughs> is a triangle like a Triforce. I mean... So many details that just said, you know what? You care. You cared about this one, at least. Okay, so the only thing out of this is the game. Thanks for watching the Microbrew Gamers Nintendo Switch and Zelda Breath of the Wild unboxing video. It's been a lot of fun, and I'd like to extend a special thanks to Yadu yeah Gamers for helping me out with this video and joining me. It's been great. Remember, good games, good beer.